Colorado, I have you loud and clear. Welcome to the International Space Station. Since we're up here, we do have our big window to the Earth called the cupola, and we see the sun rise and set many, many times because we are going so fast around the Earth. Um, but to us up here, honestly, we have our daytime, we have our nighttime. Uh, at nighttime, we, we turn off the lights just like you would in your own house before we go to bed. Um, and so we kind of maintain a normal schedule just like you would at home. This question is from Frontier Academy in Gray Lake, Colorado. What is the importance of going to space? You know, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, people, I think, don't ask that question enough anymore. Uh, as humans on this planet, all of us are curious about what's out there and what's beyond this planet. And so I think it's part of our species we will be living on planet Earth for a very long time, but I think at some point we will also be living elsewhere. In order to get to a far off place like Mars, which takes a really long time to get to, we need to practice at places that are closer to home to start off with. And so for many years we practiced with the shuttle, now we practice with the space station where we're very, very close to the Earth's surface and we practice learning what it's like for humans to live in space. How do our bodies change? How do we go to the bathroom? How do our systems work? Can we provide oxygen? Can we provide food? And then we learn how to do that really, really well, and then we take another step out further, and further, and further. Because I think it's, it's really part of our destiny to explore what's out there. We can't stay in one place forever. Um, and so it's really neat to see engineers on the ground, and I know that some of you who, who are in school right now, when you grow up, you're gonna be part of this team that is gonna take us to Mars. Or you may be the first person that goes to Mars. I'm too, I'll be too old for that, but you're not too old for that. And so I, it's really exciting to think about what lies ahead. Sometimes it's hard to see, because it seems, Mars seems so far off, but I think we're getting there. 